hear that Jay Z and Beyonce would be here this morning. Yeah. 
victory. I'm going to wait until you get there. Let's go be right past Matthew. Mark chapter 8. You there? Amen. Amen. Let me read it to you. I want you to run your finger down to verse 23. It says, and he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. Somebody say out of town. Out of town. Yeah. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked him if he saw anything. Your Bible may say if he saw aught. Verse 24 says, and he looked up. And said, I see men as trees walking. After that, he put his hands again upon his eyes and made him look up. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. Amen. 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 And he took the blind man by the hand, that's what verse 23 says, and led him out of the town. Amen. Amen. Today's subject, the other side of town. Amen. The other side of town. Man, thank y'all. How many of you brought your amens today? Amen. amen. Get, out, get out of your cool zone and say amen. Amen. It's located on the east side of the Sea of Galilee. When you see B-E-T-H in the Bible, it stands for or means house of. L at the end of Beth, simply put, house of God. Right. Aren't you happy today that you are sitting in the house of God? Amen. Beth Sida means house of mercy or house of grace. In Mark chapter 8, it's not formally stated, but Jesus had been to this town before. Yeah. Even though it's not formally stated that he had been to this town before it is worth noting that it's just as important that he finds himself here at this site right. in the 8th chapter of Mark. Yeah. He'd been there before. Yeah. He'd been there before. And it is at this town called Bethsaida, house of grace, house of mercy, from reading, found out that it is at Bethsaida that Jesus had done some very notable miracles. All right. It was at Bethsaida that he took two little fish, five loaves of bread, and fed 5,000. It was there. All right. Where he walked on the water, it was there. Yeah. And now, in the 
28th chapter of Mark, we find that he is back at this place called Bethsaida. All right. It will go down in history as one of the three places, watch this, that Jesus cursed. Wow. I didn't say he used curse words. I said he cursed. <clears throat> and you ought not have an issue with this side of being cursed if you know what they will curse for. Yeah. If I must get a whipping, whip me for a reason. Yeah. Don't just whip me because you're into that. Come on, preacher. Come on. But Jesus himself cursed this time. And nothing, if you read the Bible, nothing good ever happened when Jesus was done with you. Wow. Some of y'all know some people, if it's not you, that ladies, this Negro quit you. And not two months later, he come calling. Well, you know what you're telling Barbara and Shirley and all them at the salon? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It, at the beauty shop, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too late now. Because when somebody, I don't know who I'm talking to, but when somebody is through with you, yes. that's it, buddy. Yes. Ain't nothing you can do. No flowers you can buy, Amen. no chocolate you can present. Get out on one knee, two knee, four knee. Amen. Done. Jesus is done yeah. with Bethsaida. All right. He's done. You ever been done with something? Yeah. He's done. I'm so over it. So he curses three times. Chorazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum. And before he curses them, I like this because he gives each one of these cities ample opportunity to get it right. Yeah. Whippings when you when you're under whippings? Anybody whippings? Oh yeah. Whippings? Wasn't it amazing how mama memory would be jarred when she was tearing your butt up? <laughs> because she would incorporate some whippings from some stuff that you didn't get weeks ago, but you're getting them now. Anybody ever got some old out of way licks? to change their way of thinking. Do you not know that every morning God allows you, 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 and you to say good morning. It's another opportunity to get it right. Yeah. Amen. If you still not speaking to somebody every day, but you in church every Sunday, you stupid. Yeah. You got better things to occupy your time. Yeah. Watch this. Destruction normally follows a mind that refuses to accept change. Yeah. Destruction normally follows a mind when it refuses to accept change. Wow. Yeah. But watch this. It is when he approaches this city that he'd already had some dealings with, he had already cursed. He comes to the city. And it is on the outskirts of town, watch this, that he's confronted with the day crowd. Two kinds of crowds in the church. It's the day crowd and the us crowd. And 
you know what? They they don't really like us. They talk about us. Because we get a little loud for no reason. They won't sing on the praise team, but they'll talk about us that do try. They don't put any money in the church, but they want to know where every penny goes to us. Look at your name and ask them, what's, what crowd you in? Crowd, baby. It is on the outskirts of town uh -huh. that they, they bring a man to Jesus with something wrong with him. Yeah, right. Don't you dare talk about him because <laughs> there's something wrong with you too. Amen. They bring a man to Jesus on the outskirts of Bethsaida. Why? Because Jesus refused to go back into Bethsaida. Wow. There ought to be some places that you're done with. Yeah. There ought to be some, some hole in the wall yeah. that you're just done with. Yeah. Baby, if you don't go to another concert, another club, you had your shit. Yeah. 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 He doesn't He's not going back into that side. Yeah. So they, they, they bring a blind man to him. Yeah. Jesus does something right here. Chrishell, he does something that you might sound, that it, 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 it just seems strange. He had, Wilson, he has the power right. and the ability to heal this blind man right on the spot. Yeah. He could do just like Big Mama used to say, Lord, speak a word. Right here. But what does he do? He does something that, when you read this, it just seems strange. He takes the man, blind man, yeah. by the hand, and leads him further on out of time. I see something good here. He leads him yeah. wow. by the hand, by the hand. Out, of, out, of, out of time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Some of us in here, we took the wrong hand and they led us in the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. Many people are led astray for different reasons. My son went off to college. You know, anybody ever been to college? You know, you go in as a kid, but you leave as a grown up. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, son, you know, your dad ain't gonna be down here. I've, I've done my time down here. I said, but try not to do anything today what? that you gotta apologize for tomorrow. Because yeah. your last name is at stake. Do you not know that many people follow what they see others do? Last week, last week, a bunch of kids go into a store called Nordstrom's, smash and grab and take stuff that they ain't paid for. They have a word for that. Still. It's called still. Yeah. And let me tell you what's going to happen. These white folks are going to get tired of this. And when they retaliate, Everybody. some Negroes going to die. Have mercy. 
You know why a lot of you know you know why smashing rams are popular now? Because young kids don't understand the concept of working hard for a payday. Oh, they want the money, don't get me wrong. They want the money, but they don't want to work for it. And they call it, if you ain't never heard, it's called going to get a lick. Yeah. Come on here, y'all. Yeah. It's when you go get something on the cheap, free. Right. But touch your neighbor and say, how many of you know it ain't free? In verse 23, Jesus takes his hand, and I'm, 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 I'm hurrying on. He takes his hand. And he walks him further on away from the town that he had previously cursed. This man has something wrong with him. He's blind. So actually, if you really think about it, he's a, he's a liability. If you're anything like me, and I think you are, you want to live your life so you will never have to be dependent upon anybody else. Yeah. 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 I don't want to be a liability to anybody else. Right. Are y'all listening to me? Yeah. I want to be able to do some stuff on my own. Amen. But I like what Jesus, I like what Jesus does. Initially, he takes him by the hand and he walks him even further away from Bethsaida. I told you all this, that prior to this event, Jesus had washed his hands with this time. He washed his hands. Why? Because of spiritual stupidity. <clears throat> you know, we need to practice the process of washing our hands. Wow. Yeah. Yes. I'd be kind of be leery about shaking people's hands. Uh -huh. I'm going to talk about that over the bullets today. <laughs> you got to be careful yeah. about taking everybody's hand. Right. Didn't matter that the man was blind. That's right. Didn't matter that the man was a, a, a dependent. Didn't matter yeah. that it's possibly he was dirty. Didn't smell like what people thought he should smell like. Right. But, but the next time somebody asks you where you've been, uh -huh. tell them I've been washing my hands. <laughs> <laughs> he needs some out of time. Sometimes it's just good, hands. It's just good to get out of town sometimes. Amen. I'm closing on this, but watch this. He can't see Jesus. He can't see him. Tell him, tell him. But his trust is not based upon the fact that he's seen Jesus. His trust is because they brought him to Jesus. All right. Yeah. Watch this. This man has never met Jesus. All right. The blind man has never met Jesus. How do you know? Because he's still blind. Yeah. Never met him. Never seen him. But throughout the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, Jesus healed about seven different men that were blind. Uh -huh. So he knows what to do. Uh -huh. 
God. Sight is a very precious gift. I'm at the point now, it's hard for me to function without my eyeglasses on. Sir. I have a confession. I used to laugh at old folk. When they would wear glasses, you know, glad with that little window in there. Yeah, yeah. The old people used to say, you got medicine now. But now, I find myself, if I should happen to leave my house, I check my face. I ain't got my glasses. I make a beeline. And sometimes I have to ask, you see my glasses? But let me tell y'all something. Don't ever take sight for granted. Because do the research. How many people in this country alone go to bed with sight and wake up blind? Just in this country. It is a precious gift. It is probably one of the most precious gifts that we can ever have. But Jesus makes a decision when he when he's getting ready to do something wonderful in this man's life, he moves him away from the people that brought him, moves him away from the town because when you mess up, you don't get a chance to witness the blessing. Yeah. Wow. They were not receptive of the blessing. And if anybody sitting next to you, they're not willing to receive God's blessing. What? <laughs> Lord, tag me. I'm coming in. Amen. 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 Yeah. Put, put, if you don't want to say amen, put me in, coach. Amen. I'll say amen for you because I cannot sit quiet when I know what could have happened to me. And God said, hold up. Not Just receiving the answer to some prayers we prayed 20 years ago. Come on, for it. Amen. It's sometimes it's gradual. I never seen this. <laughs> I never seen this. Right. He does a new thing and I'm done. He takes a blind man by the hand, leads him away from the day crowd. The man can't see. Right. And Jesus does something that we ain't ever heard about. Come on, say it, say it. But the Bible says, I will show you a new thing, but this is new. He spits on the man's eye. Come on, All right. I don't know anybody in here ever been spit on. Uh -huh. But let me just tell you something if you ain't here, I have. That's fighting. That's fighting. I taught in the school system for 40 some years. I know how being spit on feet. Chriselle, wow. I pledge your fraternity. I know how spit being spit on feet. Yeah. All right. It is arguably one of the most degrading things. But sometimes you got to be willing to go all the way down before you can come back up. That's right. Yeah. Spit. 
But you know what, though? When you were a baby, mama used to season your food. Because she chew it first. Uh -huh. That's right. That mama somebody's street. Yeah. Oh, sir. Yeah. She seasoned it first. Yeah. And then just stuff it in your mouth. Uh -huh. Touch your neighbor and say, spit. Hey. Not only that, she would take one for the team if your nook nook fell on the dirt. She put it in her mouth first. Oh, you don't know what a nook nook is. Okay, beaky head. Because if I see somebody doing this, I'm probably going to want to know two things. Man, what is you looking at? And then I want to know, do you see anything? Because sometimes you can't see what I see. Come on. You may jump ship when you got bills and can't pay them, but I see something else. Uh -huh. I see that I have been down on my last dime, but God made a way out of nowhere. Okay. I, I see some things that you might not see. He was blind, but he looked up. Yeah. Hmm. Come on, God. Just ask some questions. <laughs> Do you see anything? Because let me tell you what I'm getting ready to do. I'm fixing to turn the dog up on your blessing. Watch this. It was gradual. I don't know what it happened. I'm done. I don't know what it happened. But something happened to this man in the past. What do we know? We know from reading that at some point in his life, he ain't already been blind. Because what we do know, he had seen two things. He had seen men walking before, and he had seen trees. 
So what does he, what, what, what is he, what, what, Pastor, what is he saying? Well, I'm glad you asked. In Jesus' day, even as the custom is now over in certain countries, they carry, they carry stuff on their hands. Uh -huh. You ever seen them in Africa with pops on their heads and stuff? Uh -huh. Well, on this particular day, there were men carrying cut branches on their heads. All right. Wow. And he sees that. He sees men carrying branches on their heads, sticks that have been cut. And he said, I see men, but they look like trees walking. Wow. Y'all yeah. Yeah, not getting this all. I see it. Yeah. I'll ask you a question. Are you ready for your healing to come? Yeah. Are you prepared to go through what Jesus is going to do? to get you from point A to point B. First time he looks up, he says, I see men as trees. Then, Jesus made him look up. First time is voluntary. You know what? It's something good being on your bed of affliction. All right. Anybody ever been on your bed of affliction? Anybody ever been flat on your back? Yeah. I was in high school. True story. As I always do, was saved by the mom. Little did I know that that day I was going to be laying flat on my back while my feet did not touch the ground for a month and a half. Because we don't ever know what's going to come our way from day to day. But you know what? I had so much time while I was laying flat on my back. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you're flat, laying flat on your back and you see clean past the roof. Yeah. All right. oh, yeah. And you see something beyond the roof. And oftentimes it's a blessing I'm done. That when God puts us laying flat on our back, oh, yes. because when you're flat on your back, saints, you really can't do nothing but look one way. Amen. You ever been flat on your back and found yourself having to look up? Yes. But it is when Jesus made him look up, that's when his sight was fully restored. So what are you prepared to go through? Sometimes you may have to get out of town. Sometimes you may have to have some stuff put on you that you ain't never been, had put on you before and you think it's disgusting. All right. But sometimes you gotta get dirty before you get clean. Yeah. If, if you're here and you know how it feels to be all the way on your back down, but you were able to keep your faith and rely on God. I want you to stay. Because somebody needs to know that that's something good can come from being on your back. Jesus took him out of town. Sometimes when you really want to your full potential blessing. You're going to have to disconnect yourself from some folk and some things.
30 years ago. Don't trip. Because you can't lose a friend you ain't never had. So Lord, to receive my blessing, if I got to get dirty, I'll do it. If I got to be led away from other folk that I know love me, then I'll do it. Be prepared when he takes you to the other side of town, the outside of town. Because something's good start happening. Thank you, Lord. Come on, lift your hands now. Just lift your hands, Lord, and thank you because you took my hand. And you guided me and you brought me from then up until where you wanted me to be. And I thank you now with my hands outstretched, Lord, that you will be my God and my God. To tell me what to do when I don't know what to do. To tell me where to go when I'm confused, when I'm lost to turn. And I don't know which way to go, Lord. Direct me right now to make sound decisions in your name. And we ask it all. We receive it right now in Jesus' name we pray. Come on, bless God with your hands clap. be seated now in the presence of God. I think, I don't know, but I think there may be someone in here today that says I've been visiting long enough. Thank you. 